The international crisis hits home as an Orange County man is rushed back to the states by a private jet. Now, this happened at LAX this morning. A flight crew in hazmat suits flew in an Orange County man with COVID-19 from Aruba. Sky 9 was overhead as an emergency team met that patient and rushed him to the hospital. KCAL 9's Leslie Marin is live at the airport with more on that patient as well as another who just died from the disease. Leslie. Yeah, Sharon, in fact, we know that flight came in. It was a private flight, so they were not near any of the commercial airlines. We know that patient will now get treatment uh, for coronavirus in Orange County at a hospital. But tonight we are learning more about that 34-year-old man who passed away from the virus. Images show an Orange County man in an isolation chamber taken out of a private jet at LAX. A medical team wearing hazmat suits loads him into an ambulance. The patient was conscious and alerted when we picked him up in, in Aruba. And of course, he was very, very anxious because he was waiting in Aruba for a few days. The 65 year old man had tested positive for coronavirus while in Aruba. His wife, who also tested positive for the virus, believes the couple contracted the disease during a trip to Egypt earlier this month. She came home and her husband traveled again. Today's flight, chartered by Jet Rescue Air Ambulance, was lined in plastic. Two pilots, a doctor, and paramedic were on board. We basically started an IV and sedated him so that he would go sleeping all the way in the chamber because it could be very difficult to be inside of it. The patient was transported to St. Joseph's Hospital in Orange County, but while he undergoes treatment there, tonight 34-year-old Jeffrey Gazarian from Glendora is now one of the youngest patients in the U.S. to die from the coronavirus. His sister writing on Facebook, he suffered a lot but put up a good fight. TMZ reporting Gazarian had tested positive for the virus a few days ago. He was on a ventilator and had trouble breathing after traveling to Florida and Disney World at the beginning of March. Family has told TMZ Gazarian was a high-risk patient who had beat testicular cancer and had a history of asthma as a child. Honestly, day by day, our spirits are dwindling. Meanwhile, in Peru, Cyprus resident Angel Cervantes can't get home after the country went into lockdown four days ago. The group of friends are in contact with nearly 500 Americans who they believe may also be stuck. Calls to local leaders and the embassy have gone unheard, they say, as they hope a humanitarian flight will soon be available. We know that it's a global pandemic and we're ready to go home and quarantine ourselves. Whatever we need to do to help everybody, we just want to be home. We want to be in a place where we feel comfortable. And tonight, those friends stuck in Peru do tell me they are possibly getting a flight back to Florida, thanks to Representative Jimmy Gomez. As for that flight that brought in that Orange County man, well, many Americans probably can't afford that service. It costs around $100,000, and the company is unsure if insurance will pay for it. Reporting live, Leslie Medin, KCAL 9 News. Wow. That is a steep price. All right, Leslie, thank you.